Hey everyone, welcome back to TK's Tech Talk. Today I'm going to be looking at this Gigabyte A520 IAC motherboard and it looks like my particular model must be a new one I guess. Uh, it's Ryzen 5000 desktop ready so hopefully it will support the 5600G out of the box. If it doesn't, it's not a big deal. It does have BIOS flashback as far as I remember on this particular model. So AC is because it has Wi-Fi 5 and the I is because it's ITX. On the back of the board, we back of the box, Apologies for the reflections there. We can see we have a PCIe 3.0 X4 M.2 slot because this is a PCIe 3 motherboard as far as I know. And even the uh, PCIe slot is also PCIe 3 X16 for graphics cards if you need to use a graphics card. It has four SATA ports, two DDR4 ports, two HDMI ports and one display port. So let's open the box and have a quick look inside. So we put the motherboard to the side for now and see what else comes inside the box. So we have a very nice looking Wi-Fi antenna. Lost the camera there, sorry for that for a second. Nice looking Wi-Fi antenna there. It's got Gigabyte written on it. We have some SATA ports and we have, looks like a fan connector for one of those mini fan, fan connectors on these ITX boards. I think Gigabyte uses them. Not sure about other manufacturers. And then we have the rear I.O. panel. It's a shame it's not built in, but for this price, I paid about hundred pounds shipped from the UAE on Amazon. So we can't complain. And let's take the motherboard out of the packaging. So I will be doing a build uh, with this motherboard in a CIT mini ITX case. And I'll be pairing that with a Ryzen 5600G. In case you didn't hear it, with all of the unwrapping, I'll be using a CIT Mini ITX case, which I will also have an unboxing video of, and I will have, be having a build video of this entire thing as well. So let's have a quick look at the board. There's the board, it looks very nice, very simple, very understated. No chipset fans or anything like that. I've got a video on the X570i. Feel free to check that one out. Um, it's always the bigger brother of this board is, is a the 500 series uh, chipset and this one has like we said the PCIe 3.0 x4 ssd slot here it has uh, the PCIe 3x16 slot for a graphics card there and we do have the 6 plus 1 i believe power uh, power stages for the vrms two ddr4 slots sata ports and at the top here we have the eight pin power connector and we're only going to be using four of those with the 180 watt power supply in the CIT mini ITS case We have the CPU fan header right there and then I believe that that one there is the 12 volt 4 pin AR RGB connector and this one here is the 3 pin 5 volt ARGB connector and then we have some other audio panels USB headers USB 3 header which is nice to see there and some USB 2 headers and things like that. And of course the AM4 socket. Let's have a look at the back of the board first. Just very simple, very basic, no backplate like we had on the X570. And this one has just a typical backplate which is holding these things in place. So on then moving over to the IO panel here, we don't have any USB-C ports. We do have a gigabit LAN port. We do have Wi-Fi 5. Uh, we have two USB 2 ports, we have one, two, three USB 3 ports, and I believe that will be the BIOS port, or the preferred port for the BIOS flash, if using the BIOS flashback button, which is located here, two HDMI ports, and a display port. And then of course we have the standard audio output there. I'm not, I think it's eight channel or something, I don't really know how these audio configs work. I very rarely use very much audio setup on my PC itself. So that's a very short video just to give you an overview of this motherboard and like I said if you want to compare what it's like compared to the um, X570i feel free to check my video on that and I will be doing a build on with this uh, with the Ryzen 5600G 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM and a inside a CIT mini ITX case. So if you want to check that out please feel, feel free to subscribe to my channel. In the, in the meantime if you have any questions please do feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.